my lovely humans. Welcome to Starlight and Stitches. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you like yarn and crochet and crafts and yarn hauls, end of the month finished project videos, crochet book reviews, all sorts of lovely crafty goodness, then hit subscribe and join my subscribers because my subscribers are the best. So if you are also the best, come and join us because this is our happy, positive place on the internet. I was very surprised the other day <laughs> when I was looking back at my videos and I have not done a yarn haul for over two months. I've been very good at trying not to buy random yarn. Um, I did have my yarn subscription videos, um, but obviously Good Vibes Yarn have stopped doing those clearance mystery bags now. And a lot of the yarn subscription boxes that are available are quite expensive or are for yarns that I'm generally not going to use. Uh, things like hand dyed yarns and, and lovely beautiful as though they are they are absolutely amazing um, I'm not going to do anything with those yarns you can see the sort of projects that I like to create big chunky bold things um, so those particular subscriptions don't really suit me and I have been very good and I haven't bought anything until now Ta -da! <laughs> so we have a yarn haul for you today which I'm very excited about now I've got it from two different places I've got two separate yarn hauls for you today one is from Wool Warehouse um, and it's just a basic restock of some of my usual bits and pieces and then I have got another yarn haul that I have purchased from the Knitting Network. Um, I am on their newsletter so I've subscribed to their newsletter so daily <laughs> I get emails from them saying look at this offer, look at this offer, look at this offer and I've been really really good about looking at them and saying do I need that? No. Do I really really want it? No. But the other day there was some stuff and I was like you know what I actually really want that and I'm going to treat myself to a small yarn haul. So what we'll do I'll do the wool warehouse yarn haul first um, because like I say that is just like my basic bits and then we'll do the knitting network one afterwards and I will show you that as well but they are slightly more funky and there's some good deals there so I have my my bag I have opened the top but I have not delved inside yet so the good thing with Wool Warehouse is that their stuff comes in organza bags which are lovely just keeps the yarn nice um but also you can then repurpose these bags for if you're gifting or anything like that so i find them really helpful now um my like i say my bread and butter yarn the stuff that i use all the time for a lot of my projects is the stylecraft special chunky um there are you can't really see it at this angle but there are some gaps in my in my uh, yarn wool so i've just replaced some of that now on wool warehouse the stylecraft special chunky is £2.25 a ball it has gone up a little bit in price but then so has everything um and i've just replaced some of the bits i like to have at least two balls of each color so if i start a big project then i don't then run out and have to order some and then have to wait to finish my project if you know what i mean so we start with this one this is the shade empire if you don't know about stylecraft special chunky these come in 100 gram balls they are 100 percent premium acrylic approximately 144 meters 157 yards naturally anti-pilling knits to all chunky patterns or crochets if you are like me i love this stuff i use it for everything um the colors are great really good range of colors um so yeah we have that one that is empire and then i have got one in proper purple that's a lovely color and then I've got, I've got not very much space here. I've got a couple of black. I'm just going to whiz through these ones because we've seen these before. And then I've got a couple of white. Beautiful. Um, now, there are some colours that they don't have in this range. Um, and I have used this, this other brand of yarn quite a bit before. If I had the money, because this is a bit more expensive than the Special Chunky, if I had the money, I would buy the whole range of this and have that as my yarn wool. Because I just think it's just got a slight edge on Special Chunky, but the price puts me off. So this is the Sheep G's Chunky Monkey, and this comes in at £2.95 a ball. This is my favourite colour. <laughs> this is yellow. Now with the Sheep G's, this again is 100 gram balls, 
you get about 116 meters so it's just a tad shy of this so you're getting less but it is slightly thicker if i compare the two um it's 100 percent premium acrylic anti-pilling but the colours, the great colours in here. They work really well together, though, with the special chunky, hence why some colours I get extra. Um, I've also got this one, the neon green, which is wonderful. And then I also have got neon orange. So this is just some of the colours that I needed to replace to replenish my wall so that uh, I can start the year afresh. Now, I did get um, these as well these are drops of glitter um these don't have any information on i'll look the information up i'll put it down the bottom of the screen now um these were one pound 75 each and they are a very thin there's a little bit hanging out here which is super helpful they are very thin silver threads you see that um and i bought these because I did have a different plan in mind for my year-long crochet project. Hopefully you saw that last video. My puffy flowers, I had a slightly different plan for my not working days. I was going to put a silver thread through and then I realised that, that was a lot of faff. So I've got some silver thread that um, I don't have any use for at the moment, but they're only small. And like I say, they were £1.75 each. I shall put them aside. And then I'm sure at some point in the future, there will be a project. So I'm just putting all this back in the bag. There'll be a project that I can use them for. So that was my wall warehouse building back up my regular stash. Right, now we come on to the Knitting Network yarn haul. Now this is the one that I'm a bit more excited about just because it's things I haven't had before, as far as I'm aware. Um, I can't actually remember exactly what I've ordered. Um, so I'm going to dive in and hopefully we will find some... Oh no, I've dropped my note. I'm going to get my notebook. Because I did write down the prices of everything just so that, you know, we know what we're looking at. I'm such a professional. Right. We have got some beautiful things in here. I have got some different things that I wouldn't normally go for, um, but I've also got some proper Alice style things as well. So, what have I got? Let's start with this one, because this was an absolute bargain. Right, this is, I think this was in their sales section, but this is Sunflower Vibe DK. Okay, and this is the colour 004 Creativity. And these come in 50 gram balls. It's about 150 meters. So it's a DK weight yarn, um, which is about 164 yards and it's 100% acrylic. And I got, I think I got four balls of this. One, two, three. Yes, I did. I bought four balls of this because it was 99p. <laughs> and I thought, those that's really pretty it's got um like little flecks of different colors in um yeah i really liked that i thought that was really pretty and it'd be nice to have stashed away if we look inside because it's got some other colors in it as well it'd be nice to have stashed away to make a, a little project with so if i just open the middle up there you can see that's better all the other colors so there's like blues and yellows and things in there as well that caught my eye for 99p uh so yeah 99p a ball I thought that was awesome. Right, the next one is this one. This is Sunflower as well. This is Pretty Petals. Now, this, I think, is slightly thinner than a DK weight. I have to excuse all the, the cuts and things on my hands um, at work. I always tend to, like, rip boxes open with my bare hands, hence why I'm always covered in scratches. Um, so this, again, really pretty, lovely colours, but it's got these flecks of green and this like hot pink. I really, really like this. Now this is colour 004 Blossom. It's a 100 gram ball of yarn, 300 metres, which is about 328 yards, and it's 100% acrylic. These come from Turkey. Um, these cost me, which one is this one? Sunflower yarns. These cost me 1.99 each. Um, and I think I've got a couple of these actually, 
but I just thought that that was so pretty. I think it was those like splashes of the more vibrant colours inside there is what really caught my attention. Uh, what's next? Oh, look, that's right. So we've got another sunflower one. Same thing again. So this was one ninety nine, but this is like a blue version, which is really pretty. This is colour double zero two bluebell. I just think that's lovely. And I think I've got a couple of each of those. Yeah, so I've got two of each colour. Right, the next one <laughs> that we come to is... Do, 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 do. Right, this. This is an Elements yarn. It's called Elements Panoramic Aran. Okay, so it's got like this kind of tweedy, well, I call this like a tweedy effect. I don't know why I call this a tweedy effect. That's just what I call it every time. This is the colour Autumn Trees. This is lovely. So again, this is a 100 gram ball of yarn. I'll let you see that. It's about 225 metres. This is um, an acrylic cotton blend. So it's 70% acrylic and 30% cotton. Again, another one from Turkey. But that's really nice. Now these I got on an offer. Um, these panoramic Aaron's, when I got them, they changed their offers all the time at Knitting Network. These were $3.99 each or four for a tenner. So that's that one. I can't remember what I got, so I'm having to dive into the bag. Ah, this is, this I got in that offer as well. This is the same yarn, but in the colourway Beaches. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Those colours. So this is Beaches. What else did I get? Do I get all different colours? See, I can't ever remember. Yeah, this one is... Lavender, that's pretty, isn't it? That makes me think of fairies and all sorts of lovely, whimsical things. That's gorgeous. Uh, oh yeah, I've got a second one of the beaches, so that's my four. This is like a really chaotic video. Yeah, this was four for £10. So that's those ones. So that's Panoramic Aaron. And then the last one that I got, this was like a really, really good deal. So this next one is called Elements Colour Wave Chunky. And they're $3.99 a ball or four for $8.99. So like, yeah, it's just a great deal. So let's have a look at these ones. So this is Elements Colour Wave Chunky. So it is a chunky yarn. This colourway is called Bondi Beach. Lovely. Oranges and pinks and purples and yellows. Gorgeous. So this again, 100 gram ball of yarn. It's 185 metres, which is 202 yards and it is 100% acrylic. So that's one of those. And then I think I've got two. Yeah, so I've got two of the Bondi Beach. One, two. And then two of, wow. This is a Papacha Beach. <gasps> that is so nice. <laughs> Look at those colours. Really vibrant, really bright, beautiful colours. Yeah, four for eight ninety nine. Now, the Knitting Network, if you do subscribe to their mailing list, they do email you at least once a day which is fine. I don't mind that. I'm pretty good with staying on top of my emails. I look through them every morning, delete the ones I don't want, whatever. Um, but they, they do email you a lot. Um, but then you find deals like this, which I think is really cool. So I'm very happy because I've got restocked my stash, my regular stash. But then I've also now got a few little things that I can have a look at and play with at a later date. So I have got rid recently of an awful lot of yarn. If any of you have seen my drowning in yarn video, I'll put a link down below if you haven't. Uh, uh, my yarn situation got a little bit out of hand. Um, so I have sold a bunch of it locally, just to people in the local area, um, other crafters and um, some local 
crafting groups and just people in my local area i put it on like facebook marketplace and it was snapped up really quickly so i got rid of my least favorite things a lot of it was from mystery bags and things bits that i was like i'm not going to use that so i'll just get rid of it so i do have space now for yarn i'm not going to fill the space i have promised myself i would like to try um and only allow myself to buy new patterned yarn as I clear through some of the older stuff. So that's the plan going forward. Once I've used a bunch of stuff, then I can buy some more, but until then I cannot. So I better get to thinking about what projects I can make stuff with. Yes. So I hope you enjoyed a yarn haul with me. It's been a while since I've done one actually. Um, if I've forgotten anything, just uh, ask me down below and I will happily answer you. Um, my brain's a bit scattered today. I don't know what's going on, but you know me, you know me. We don't have anything go smoothly on a Starlight and Stitches video. Um, thank you all very much for your comments on the last video. Uh, it was very interesting to hear what breakfast you all had. Um, thanks for that. If you don't watch to the end of the videos, you won't know what I'm talking about. Uh, previously, we've spoken about our shoe sizes. So... There we go. Um, on this uh, comment section, obviously talk to me about yarn, talk to me about crochet, talk to me about anything you like, including what your favourite animal is. That would be cool. I think uh, we're going to have a lot of cat and dog lovers, but anything obscure. My favourite animal is actually a stoat. Um, and then after that, it's cat. So yeah, talk to me down below. I love having chats with you all in my comment section. I will see you next week. Look after yourself, look after your loved ones, and I will see you next time. Bye.